Hi everybody, this is Lisa and it's time again for another Verbling class. This is going to be a speaking class this hour so if you have your reservation you can go ahead and click on the join class button now so that you come into the Google Hangouts where you can um, participate in the class. Um, it did say that the class was fully booked so now we just see if people actually show up and use their tickets and their reservations. So um, I'm looking forward to a good class. I want to make sure everybody uh, comes in so we can get started so you can use this um, time um, the best we can. So we want to make sure that we use all of our time so you guys uh, get practice. Hi there Ricardo, how are you doing? It's a little Hello. earlier today. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. La uh, last night it was a little bit late for you, I guess, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, it's hard with those uh, different time zones. Hi there, Marina, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. Great to have you in class. <laughs> okay, Hamid, how are you doing today? I'm very, uh, I am oxygen and potassium. <laughs> Oxygen and potassium. All right, good. And, uh, <laughs> and H2O. Yes, uh, lithium and samarium. Uh, have you uh, taken shower just because have your uh, your uh, hair is uh, looks like oh, yes. that? Yes, I took a shower a little while ago, and I just let it dry naturally, so it's still wet. <laughs> okay. I'm clean for class. All right. <laughs> okay. Good. And uh, the class will be clean uh, with you. All right. Great. All right. Beatriz, how are you doing? Hi, Beatriz. How are you? Do you have your microphone on? You just have to look above the verbling uh, chat. And if it's not on, just click on it. If it's red, it's muted, and I can't hear you. Okay, Alpha, how are you doing? Good, you're good. Okay, Aisha, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Alpha, you can write in the in the chat. You doing good, Aisha? Yes, thank you. Did you get some sleep? Did you get yeah. some sleep? I just woke up. <laughs> You just <laughs> awesome. Okay, I you, I'm not great. Thinking. All right. <laughs> You're not this super creative genius. <laughs> waking up early. All right. Okay. Hi, Marta. How are you doing? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Okay. I'm doing well. Thanks. All right. I'm just saying hi to everybody and making sure everybody's microphone is working. Uh, I think Beatriz uh, was working on her microphone, so maybe she'll come back in. Maxime, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, I'm good. Good. Awesome. And Tan, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Long time no see. Yeah, long time. <laughs> are you still in school or do you have vacation yet? I'm still in school until like the 5th. June. The 5th of June. Okay, yeah. so next week, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, so um, in this hour, I just wanted to give you guys all a chance to practice uh, your speaking in English because I hear from a lot of students that that is the most, one of the most difficult things when you are learning English is to find somebody to speak with and to also maybe have somebody who can help you uh, push yourself a little bit more and that's what I want to do in this class is ask you guys lots of different types of questions so that you can have the opportunity to speak about different topics so um, sometimes of course one of the most uh, common things is to just uh, introduce yourself and then start talking about things that you are interested in but uh, we do that a lot and so let's uh... we're gonna move on to something else and before i start i want to remind everybody how this works so if you can keep your microphone muted while you're not talking 
then that helps with the background noise. Um, if I hear some background noise, I might mute you or another class uh, participant might mute you. Uh, don't take it personally. We just are hearing some noise in the background, so we want to have it be quiet in the class. But remember that when it is your turn to speak, make sure you click on your, it's over there probably, uh, your microphone so that we can hear you. And the way you know whether or not it's on is if it's gray. If it's gray, it's on. And if you look when you're speaking, you see the little dots that are green. That means that the microphone is picking up your voice and we can probably hear you. Um, if it's red, we cannot hear you. You are muted and you can sing and you can talk and you can do whatever, but we won't be able to hear you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with Hamid because Hamid, he wanted to tell us some news about something that's important to him. And so let's hear what Hamid has to tell us. Okay. Uh, firstly, I want to describe myself. I am Hamid from Turkey. And uh, tomorrow uh, evening, I will go to National Chemistry Congress. Uh, and this congress is uh, related to uh, my field. Uh, my field is uh, inorganic chemistry. Uh, and uh, this congress uh, will be fourth. Uh, and I want to uh, show some uh, thing about uh, about it. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay, uh, and I will go to Tokat. Uh, you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Tokat means uh, in English very interesting. It means uh, to slop. To slop? Yes. What's that? To slop. Uh, how can I explain? Yeah, explain. <laughs> uh, for example, uh, the pa uh, parent uh, is angry. Oh, uh, to slap. He, okay. Yes. And okay. This city, uh, this city is uh, no uh, north east in Turkey. Uh huh. And uh, this is a congre congress website. Is it going to be in Turkish this time? Yes. Okay. So it's but, a national uh, congress. Yeah. Yes, uh, but uh, there are. Uh, Two uh, invited speakers uh, for foreign people. Mm -hmm. uh, these are coming from uh, England and United States. And uh, I found this website, uh, and this is uh, related to uh, pictures of uh, city. Mm -hmm. uh, I am no experience uh, for this city. Uh, I will s uh, see this city. Uh, first time in my life. Great. How how far yeah. away is this city from where you live? Uh, almost 400 kilometers and uh, by bus six hours. Almost. Six hours. Okay. Wow. And so uh, it's going to be a, a a a tourist adventure for you too. Then. Yes. Awesome. I I will be a local tourist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's, it sounds like you're getting excited already to uh, have some good food and to see some uh, neat buildings. It looks like those buildings are pretty cool. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I will see uh, maybe uh, nation, um, historical places uh, from Ottoman Empire or uh, other, uh, other uh, foundations for my country, like yeah. uh, Seljuk. Or other uh, states like Ottoman Empire. Right. Yeah. Well, and, that's uh, the. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the amazing thing about uh, Turkey is it's very rich with history. Very many uh, thousands of years of history. So lots of buildings to see and stories to learn about. So. Yes. Yeah. And, it's nice. Uh, this, uh, this is a traditional uh, meal for Tokat. It is, its name is uh, Tokat Kebab. And uh -huh. 
if you see the pictures, uh, uh, there are uh, eggplants, mm. pepper, uh, maybe uh, Charleston pepper, yeah, uh, and uh, tomato sauce and meat in these um, dishes dish. So what kind of what kind of meat is it? Is it uh, lamb usually or beef or chicken? I don't know, but uh, I guess uh, from cow. Oh, beef. Mm -hmm. Yes, beef. I will. Uh, I will try uh, first time in my life again. Okay, yummy. You're making us hungry. Yes. <laughs> Watching <laughs> the pictures makes us hungry because for me, right now it's lunch time, and for other people, it's dinner time. <laughs> If so, uh, come and uh, join uh, with me. We can go together. Uh, oh yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> I, I'm not very uh, good. I'm not very good at chemistry, though. <laughs> I want to anyway. go too. Yeah, Marina. Right. Marina, Marina wants to go. She's hungry. <laughs> That looks And, yummy. Uh, uh, the best thing is for me. Uh, my supervisor uh, will present my thesis, my master thesis topic. Oh. Uh huh. Great. Yes. Uh, it it will be a good opportunity, and I also uh, will meet. My bachelor uh, teachers, professors. Oh. Uh huh. So it'd be so, like a big uh, reunion for you. Yes, definitely. Great. That sounds fun. When when did you say it's going to be? I will go to tomorrow uh, evening, oh, tomorrow? and oh. I will I will uh, turn back second uh, June. Okay. Wow, that's exciting. Yes. All right. Well, fun. So that uh, that uh, leads me to the next question that I want to ask people. Um, so, for in the United States, anyway. So I know it's not going to be true for everybody, especially like Ricardo. But uh, for in the northern hemisphere, we're hitting summer. So it's co it's coming close to summertime. And in the United States, for many people, of course, the young people, students, that means a summer vacation. And so that's typically a time where people are going to be traveling maybe. Maybe they're going to go far away or they're going to just go somewhere close by. Maybe they're going to go camping or take a trip to a bigger city or go to a beach or something like that. So my first question is, I want to know, do you have any plans for summer? So Ricardo, you can tell us. I think it's winter. It's going to be winter in Brazil. Is that right? Autumn. Uh, okay, autumn. When yeah, when does when cold. when do you consider it winter, or do you have winter really? Uh, what uh, month? What time? Uh, next month. Next month. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Right now is is considered spring in the United States, um, and usually summer. The summer begins in June. So the month of June, we start saying that's summer. So summer for uh, people in the United States is June, July, and August. And those are usually the months that people are off from school, whether it's elementary school or high school or even the university. So different, it's not exact. Like some people might go to the middle of June and start again in the middle of August, but around those times. So Asia, do you have any plans? For the summer, are you going to do anything fun or special or different? What are you going to do in the summer? Uh, I don't have a plan yet, but uh, it's usually like that. Maybe you know, I I travel. Mhm. Mm I will travel, but I don't have plan. It's always like that. Yeah. So, are are you still studying? Are you still uh, in school or no? I I just finished my school. So oh, okay. I'm for the graduation in Ontario. Oh cool. All right. So um, are you gonna stick around uh, Montreal? Uh, for now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Montreal is probably a pretty fun place to be in the summer, though, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of things to do. Yeah. So sometimes if you already live in a very fun place, 
for the summer. You don't go traveling too much, but you might go to festivals or concerts or parks or exactly. You something. have the jazz festival. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Montreal Jazz Festival. That's very famous. Exactly. Have you gone to that? Yes, I already. Oh wow! Did you like it? Yes, but not much for the music. I'm not a jazz girl. Mm. But for the what what for kind the, of music do you like? I like uh, pop music, rock music, country music, but mm -hmm. uh, I think all of all the other type, but not jazz music. Yeah. Do you like uh, French rap music, like African French rap? Music? I used to like that, but not. Uh, lately, yeah, yeah, because I was listening I think to some more. I grow up, more of my style change. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As you get older, sometimes your styles uh, change, your yeah, interests exactly. change. Okay, Beatrice, hi there. Did you get your microphone working? Yeah, all right, awesome. Good. Okay, it's the first <laughs> time, and it was some complication to, to prepare all things, yeah. But but you got it. You got it now. Yeah. Great. So, Beatriz, where are you from? I'm from Spain. Mm -hmm. I'm, fr I'm from Castellón. It's in Valencia community. Okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Uh, so, the, is the weather good there now? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's about twenty degrees. Mm -hmm. um, that's okay. It's the same all days here. Yeah. It's, are you close to the beach? A beach? Uh, I live in a small town, um, mm -hmm. about twenty kilometers kilometers from the beach. It's, oh, okay. Yeah, nice. it's nearly. Yeah. So, do you have any plans for the summer? Um, not a lot. Uh, nowadays, I'm studying, and oh. first of all, finish the lesson, and <laughs> after that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I spend I spend time with my friends and. Half of the time, I'm not studying. <laughs> Do you go to the beach very often in the summer? Yeah, not a lot because when you have a beach uh, really close your house, yeah, don't yeah, it's the same all summers and try to to go to, to the center center of Spain or the oh. mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's it's different because you have here all time. Yeah, so it's nothing special to you because it's it's there all the time for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you wanted to go to the mountains, where would you go in Spain? What something nearby, or do you have to go far? No, uh, for example, there are a lot of towns near here where you can go in the mountain. Oh, Not mm -hmm. each, yeah, but for example, there are. If you go to the Barcelona or Tarragona, there are a lot of historic towns with mountains, nice. and you can, yeah, you can go trekking or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I heard that uh, lots of people are walking the Camino this year because of all the movies and the books that have been written about it. Um, the Camino you, de Santiago. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All years I think about doing that, <laughs> but, but it's really, it's. I think it's really hard. Maybe one yeah. time in your <laughs> some fr friends of me uh, yeah. they did it uh, oh. about only the last last part. It's maybe two hundred kilometers, uh -huh. and and it's really hard because you need to wake up really early to book a yeah. a bedroom in a in a hotel and right. all, yeah yeah. That's that's what I heard. It, it's hard um, right now because so many people are walking on the Camino that um, it's hard to find a bed in one of the hostels or the you know the places where people usually sleep, and so some people are just sleeping outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yes, but when you do this travel, you need uh, I don't say in English uh, <laughs> a paper a paper when the yeah, hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, that they stamp it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Do you think that you go? You may go to Madrid. Do you ever go to uh, Madrid for during uh, the summer? I 
no, I, I don't think so because in Madrid in summer the weather is really warm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about 40 degrees or some, something like that. Yeah. And I, yeah, but it's okay if you if you never visit it. It it has a lot of interesting things. Yeah. Well, uh, Marina wants you to go to visit the Pyrenees, the Mount Los Pirineos, <laughs> the Pyrenees Mountains. <laughs> it's probably they are cool, cooler. Very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it's worth it. It's worth it because the mountains are amazing there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that where you live? Um, I live in Zaragoza, that is a city that is it's close to Los Pirineos, but, well, not too much, but, yeah. <laughs> about, close, but not too about much. About an hour and a half. That's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty close. That's closer than where I am, because I would have to fly for, like, uh, 13 hours to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's closer than yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Marina, do you have any plans for the summer? Yes, I'm going to Italy with a friend, oh. and we're planning a two weeks um, vacation. We're going uh -huh. with the, how do you say, backpack holidays, mm -hmm. when you take the backpack and you go walking. Yeah. And we're well, going are to you gonna just, Rome. Are you going to go backpacking just, yeah, through the cities? That's popular. We just call it backpacking through Europe is what we usually say. <laughs> we're going backpacking through Europe yeah. or Italy or, yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, well, at first I wanted to do that, to visit, like, lots of countries, but yeah. we decided that for this year, at least, we were going to visit Italy, mm -hmm. and we're going to visit Rome, Florence, Venice, um, and then the, the south, Yeah. Um, close to um, Lecce, I don't know if you, how do you say, the boot, you know, Italy is a boot, yeah, and it boot. has, like, a point. Right. Yeah, well, the um, tacon in Spanish. Oh, the heel. I don't know how to say that. It's called the heel. The heel? Yeah. 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 Yeah, the heel. That's, You're going to visit the heel, going, yeah. the heel of the boot. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. so going... Have you ever been to Italy before? Yes, I've been to um, Bologna. Well, I've been in the north. I've never been to Rome, so I'm really excited about mm -hmm. going to visit that city. Mm -hmm. um, the south, I hadn't visited either so mm. well I when, I when I came I came to um, I went to Italy like five years ago so I don't remember yeah. lots of things yeah do you, do you speak any Italian uh, no just ciao come stai arrivederci I don't know what I'm going to do but uh -huh. Italian is similar to Spanish, so yeah. I think we don't will have like lots of problems. It will be easy for you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just um, I, I just so. I just watched the movie, uh, the Woody Allen movie, to uh, to Rome with Love. Have you seen that movie? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, that's a that's a good movie to check out because um, it takes place in Rome, and um, so it's in English and Italian. And uh, Penelope Cruz is in it, and lots of really good um, actors and actresses. But it's a um, it's a great movie if you are interested in um, Italy because you get to see a lot of the sights in the movie, and it just makes you want to go go visit there. So yeah, it, it was a good good movie. I will watch it. I will watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Well, that sounds exciting. That's a big plan. How how uh, long will you be in Italy? Um, just, well, we leave from Spain the 27th of June, and we come back, like, the 13th of July, so. Oh, okay, a couple weeks. A bit yeah. more of two weeks, yeah. Uh-huh, nice. Sounds fun. Are you going to be just, um, driving, I mean, riding on the train, or how are you going to get there? Um, no, we're going, we're taking a flight oh, from okay. Valencia. Uh -huh. to Beatriz Town. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> we take the flight from Valencia, we go to Rome, and then from Rome we move um, by trains because that works very good. In yeah, Italy. yeah, yeah. And then to go to go to the coast because it's really far from Venice, we take another plane because wow. it is like 
nine hours of train, and mm -hmm. by flight it's just one hour and a half. Yeah. So nice. Much better. Yeah. Great. Sounds fun. Awesome. Okay, Marta. How are you doing? Hello. Hi. I'm hey there. Thank you. <laughs> so, Marta, tell everybody where you're from first. Uh, well, I'm from Italy. <laughs> so. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was listening carefully. I was listening carefully. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cool. So, where do you live in Italy, Marta? Uh, in the center. In the uh, on the east coast. On the east coast, near near the near the coast or inland? Uh, yeah, near the coast. Mm -hmm. Twenty minutes far from the coast. Oh, okay. So you get to go to the beach whenever you want to. Uh, well, unfortunately, I I spent my summers working, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see the beach, but I, you can I can't fish. It's I out of your it. reach. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. um, so, do you have any plans for the summer? Uh, well, uh, no, I I will I will work full time. <laughs> So I won't. I uh, I can't go on holiday. Yeah. But I plan to 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 have some spare time, some free time mm -hmm. by the beginning of September, so that I can relax and yeah. maybe <laughs> go go somewhere else. Where? Um, what do you do for work? Um, usually during summer, I uh, I um, work as a bartender. Oh, okay. So that must be a busy, busy time for you then, huh? Yeah, really. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so you work as a bartender in Italy. Do you make a lot of money? Uh, Cause that's good. Well, that's I'm, good money in the United States. <laughs> I don't become rich, but I well, I I get uh, some tips. So uh, yeah, that's. tips. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, I don't know how it is in Italy, but um, do people tip pretty well when they're drinking? Because I I don't drink, so I don't really go to bars or something. But I have friends who have been bartenders, and they make pretty good money because of the tips. Like people who are drinking, they like give you five dollar tip, ten dollar tip, you know. So well, it's, yeah, it can it's be a good job. It's not exactly like that because okay. here it is not compulsory. I but, see. But sometimes someone someone is generous, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some guys become generous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, is that a job that you do all year round or just in the summer? Time? No, it's a seasonal job. Oh, okay. So then, yeah. what what do you do? Like, what will you do after that? Uh, I am a teacher trainee right now, mm -hmm. teaching assistant maybe, I don't know, and uh, I plan to, to give an exam to become a real teacher. Oh, <laughs> so okay. Teacher, teacher. What, uh, at what level, like uh, little kids or elementary school or high school? What, what mm, level? Itali Italian as a second language. Oh, okay, Italian as a second language. So in high school then probably? Um, or to, for like... Um, <laughs> To adults and children. To adults, okay, okay. Yeah. So for people who come to Italy uh, to learn Italian, or do you want to travel abroad to teach? Um, right now I'm planning to travel abroad, but, okay. well, yes. I, I must check uh, so some opportunities, so I can tell you right now exactly where <laughs> I will be. <laughs> well, yeah. pretty much in Europe you can travel and get jobs pretty easily, right? Because of the European Union? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Great. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, hi, Sergio. How are you doing? Hi, Lisa. I'm doing very well. Okay. What about you? I'm doing well. Hey, I just wanted to uh, say hi to you, but you're next in line, but actually Tan was here, so I'm going to talk to Tan first, and then I'm going to talk to you, okay? Okay. Tan, Tan's no been waiting. So I want to hear from Tan. So Tan, tell us, um, do you have any plans for the summer? Do you have any plans? Yeah, do you, ha do you have any plans? <laughs> Are you going to do anything 
in the summer um, special or fun? I don't really have different? any plan. Yeah. I plan to work a little bit more. I told my boss uh -huh. last week that I want to work more in the weekday instead just of uh, weekends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, he's very happy. Okay. <laughs> so he's you going know to. Why? Why? Because like I'm like the only one who speaks English very well there, and sometimes <laughs> there's like tourists coming in, yeah, some, and they ask for stuff, specific stuff, uh huh, and he always call me to to answer to. Oh, to help the to, customers. To let them to the stuff where it's, where it's belong and yeah, uh huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and um, probably go to the beach a lot. And karaoke with friends a lot. Oh, and yeah. um, my cousin living in the U.S. is gonna come back oh. to Vietnam, and they're probably gonna take me to places. Nice. So I'm very exciting. Yeah. Where Where does your cousin live in the United States? They live in L.A. Oh, okay, in L.A. Yeah. Is he Is he coming just to visit no. or to live? There's like a family, my uncle family is there, so oh, okay. the whole family's come back. Okay. They visit like so, a month or so. Uh-huh. They Great. lived their whole life, so. Yeah. So um, so in Vietnam, what's, what's the weather going to be like in the next couple of months? Is it rainy season or dry season? It's very hot. And very it's hot. Humid. Oh, okay. Yeah. And humid? Is it yeah. humid also? Yeah. Do you have to um, worry about uh, like mosquitoes or bugs or that too much or? Yeah, not not to my house though. Oh, okay. But yeah. um, the places where like poor people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Like, yes. Like where it's more it's more crowded uh, and stuff. And yes. Yeah. Okay. So you have to care about it, but. I see. My house uh, is very somewhat clean and mm. yeah, More modern, we don't have yeah. uh, that much insect and stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are the are the beaches uh, safe? Like if because I was just in um, Kauai, uh, one of the Hawaiian islands, and it was really fun swimming and snorkeling and boogie boarding and stuff. But sometimes the um, the waves can be very dangerous, and so there's sometimes you can't go out in the water. But what's it like um, by your uh, in Vietnam where you are? The beaches are they safe to uh, swim in, or do you have to be careful? The beach is very safe. Oh, there's nice. not a lot of wave because around the beach is island, so there's not a lot of wind that can oh, come in okay. to uh -huh. create a lot of strong. So it's uh, more protected. Wave. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And is the water warm? Of course. <laughs> it's hot and. <laughs> yeah, but it can be hot in California, and the water's freezing cold still. So, really? Well, How's yeah. it possible? Yeah. Well, it's the Pacific Ocean on that side. Um, even in Washington, where I live, um, I live near a beach, but psh, you'll die if you go swimming in there for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so cold. I mean, you can get in it when it's yeah. hot outside. Like in the summer, it can get very hot, and you can go in it for a little bit, but it's freezing. Yeah, it's mm. not warm. No. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice to be able to go swimming in warm water. Yeah. So you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, how's what's uh, the fruit, fruit situation like? Like... Um, in the summer months, is there when a lot of tropical fruit is available? Like yes, papaya, but, mango, stuff like that. Yeah. Mango, uh, rambutan. Oh, yeah. Rambutan. Longan. Longan, How's yeah. It? Longan yeah. berries, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had those on uh, Kauai. Those are yummy. Mm. Yeah. Do you like uh, eating tropical fruit? Yeah. <laughs> I've been well, eating. Some, sometimes people like, you know, like Beatrice said, going to the beach is not a big deal. So if you live in Vietnam, maybe papaya is not that big a deal. Yeah. But for me, it's a big deal. Because <laughs> I love to eat papaya. 
and I it's very it's very expensive here, you know. That's why. Like wrap or unwrap papaya. Papaya, just fresh papaya. I just cut it down the middle and. Like green it. or yellow. Oh, yellow. Yeah, ripe, ripe. We eat green too. Like how do you eat? How do you eat green? It's papaya? crunchy. Oh, really? Yeah, just, it's very crunchy. And you just cut it and and take pieces off of it and eat it. Yeah, and oh. dip it in salt and pepper to eat oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Green papaya. I never tried that. I always wait till it's really ripe and sweet. Is it sweet at all? When it's green? Could you repeat that? Is is the papaya sweet when it is green? It's not. Oh, okay. It's some somehow sweet, but it's like yeah. cucumber. Oh, Probably, like a cucumber. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So more like a vegetable, like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everybody's uh, in the chat telling us uh, the fruit. Yeah, watermelon. <laughs> Mamit. Okay, Sergio, how are you doing? Tell us, uh, tell everybody where you're from. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I'm doing very well. Uh, th thanks for asking. And uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And I'm, oh, I'm, I'm excited great. to hear about everybody's plans for the summer. Some people are going yeah. traveling. Yeah, some people are going traveling, and some people are going to be working and making a lot of money. <laughs> some people are going to be uh, eating fruit. I want to eat more fruit. <laughs> okay, what are you going to? What are you going to do in the summer? Well, you're, you're probably in Brazil. Are you in Brazil? Where are you from? Yeah. I okay. I'm from. I'm so uh, it's uh, not really summer okay. for you. It's going to be winter for you. Yeah, uh, actually is autumn right now, but right. it is next to the winter, next yep. month. Yep. But uh, anyway, uh, the winter here is about, uh, the temperature is about 26, 27. Yeah, so it's like summer anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, do you have any plans to do anything in the next couple of yeah. months? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, I'm I'm really excited uh, because uh, yesterday I have a um, a deal with my boss. Um, yeah. Actually, I I work in for a Canadian company called uh, BlackBerry. You know, uh -huh. and uh, I we. Uh, the, my boss agree with me. Uh, the, my next vacation, I will go to the U.S. And uh, nice. uh, my my first stop in the Miami Beach. Uh, cool. I have I have a busy meeting uh, over there for two days. After all, after this, oh, uh -huh. my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to New York and um, uh, go to Orlando. Uh huh. Um, oh, I I I I wanna I wanna um, tips, you know. I, yeah. I I I wanna talk a lot of uh, people in English, of course. Of course, and, you and will get it, that opportunity because nobody will probably yeah. speak Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. It. <laughs> yeah, English. You'll get a lot of English. Are you going to go to Disney World in Orlando? Uh, maybe. Uh, in fact, I, I'm I'm single. I'm alone. Uh -huh. But if uh, I got um, someone, some <laughs> women, you know, yeah, to you can you can invite somebody. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't want to go see Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I, uh, in fact, I wanna see the the beautiful beach and the Miami. Yes, yes. Brother, I heard this is spectacular, you know. Yeah. Um, they go to, of course, the New York, no, the city of the world, the capital of the world. Um, yeah, New York maybe, is really fun. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, after some advice, some tips, uh, can I go, I don't know, Arizona, Texas, I don't know, wow. I'm, I'm free. Wow, 
You just are free to go anywhere you want? Yeah. Nice. How long do you have? How long is your vacation? Thirty month. Oh, three. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry days. Three days? No, thirty. Thirty days. Okay. One month. One month. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is a um, a timing uh, enough to know the man's places. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. All right. All right. Are you going to plan it ahead of time? Like, are you going to buy your tickets? Or are you just going to go places and see where you want to go next? Like, are you researching no. it right now to find out where you want to go? Yeah, no, I, I'm not pr not planning it. Plan oh. it. Um, just uh, plan um, go to Miami. Uh huh. And uh, first, uh, second. Uh, October first, second. I don't, I'm not exactly. I'm not sure. Yeah. And the return um, November first, uh, second. Uh, uh, when I go in Miami Beach, um, yeah. In in Miami, I will decide. Hey man, hey woman, where where I go? Oh, go to. Uh, I, uh, of course, uh, the New York is in my plan. Yeah. And then another city, another state. Uh, Okay. okay. I will discover. <laughs> wow. You know, okay, I'm going to I'm going to show you uh something. We call it that winging it. I I'm going to write I'm going to write it in the chat. Okay, when when I write in the chat it mutes me, so I had to wait. But yeah, so we could say that you're going to be winging it. So when you're winging it, it just means you're free. You don't know uh what you're going to be doing. You're just going to wing it. That's a phrase, an English phrase that means you don't have a plan. You're not uh, organized about it. You're just going to see what happens and you're just going to do whatever comes up. You're going to wing it. Yeah, that's fun. It's very, um, very spontaneous. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that'll be a fun adventure. <laughs> okay, great. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, Marina. What what do you think about that? Are you yeah. going are you going to be winging it when you go to Italy, or do you have more? It sounds like you have a little <laughs> bit more plans. <laughs> yes, uh, we want to go with everything planned. Just at least the the flights and yeah. the hotels and everything. Yeah. Because the adventure can sound fun, but sometimes if you don't go with things planned, then it's a bit. I think I would be stressed that way. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of different if you're a single guy, I think. Single guys. If you're traveling by yourself, it's easier to just, like, decide on the moment, you know, say, I feel like going to New York, but I'm going to go, you know, versus if you're traveling with your friends and you have to uh, communicate and compromise, perhaps, and plan ahead. Yeah. So, good. Aisha, you don't like papaya? Unfortunately, no. Yes, unfortunately for you, because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, so good. Wow. Okay. Get this man. I, uh, I, I yeah. Make, make me want to throw. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. The smell can sometimes be a little funky, but the taste when it's ripe for me, it's yummy. But um, yeah. What about you, Beatrice? Uh, you live in Valencia. There's lots of oranges there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I love it. <laughs> you love the oranges? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Hey, um, I, 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 I own a coffee shop here, and I have a question for you because we have a drink that we make, and we call it a cafe arancia, or I think it's Italian actually. Marta, maybe you can tell me, but we make it with uh, orange peel. So we take the peel of the orange and put it in the cup. And then we put uh, vanilla syrup, and then we put the espresso uh, shots, and then we put uh, steamed chocolate milk, and that's the drink. Do you have that kind of drink in Spain? No. No, no. Marta, is it Italian? Sounds it sounds what? 
It sounds perfect, the drink. Yeah, it's, it's pretty and... it's pretty yummy. Marta, <laughs> you, is uh, it um Yeah, the, the name can you repeat the name? Well, we don't we, I don't know how you say it, but it's a, a or Arancia? Cafe Arancia and a cafe Arancia. Cafe Arancia. No, uh How do you call this? it? No. <laughs> the name is Italian, but yeah. <laughs> I I haven't heard of this drink. Sorry. I think arancia just means orange, right? Orange, yes. Yeah, okay. So somebody made it up. <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and they made it in Italian. <laughs> but it's a it's a yummy drink. It's like a mocha. Uh we call it a mocha. So the mocha drink that we make is the uh, um with chocolate milk instead of just milk. So yeah. Is that what you call it in Italian? Do you have mochas? Yes, mocha. Yes. Okay. So you have that. Okay. Good. <laughs> because, you know, in English we just say cafe latte. I don't know uh, what they um, really are in, a, in the Italian. In Italy, cafe yeah. latte is um, a drink composed mm -hmm. by the majority of milk and mm -hmm. a small amount of cafe. Of, but of this espresso or just a no uh, espresso oh, okay. is short it's really uh, yes, short small. in a small cup, cup. right uh, while cafe latte is served in a uh, um, tum tumbler do you say tumbler in a big yeah. in a big glass in a bigger mug glass we call it a mug, cylindric yeah. glass yes oh. Uh -huh. And uh, it is, uh, I know, um, I, I can say 80% coffee, 80% uh, uh, milk, milk and 20% yeah. coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. And um, what what is a macchiato in Italian? Uh, macchiato is uh, the espresso version with yeah. a little bit of uh, latte, uh -huh. of milk. Uh, but this milk comes uh, with uh, like a soft cream, steamed, like steamed yeah. milk. Yeah. Yes. In the in the foam on top. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's what we make. Well, because Starbucks makes a macchiato, but they actually make it's really a vanilla latte. So people get ah, okay. confused. <laughs> so we we I, have to tell. Them. I guess that the the quantity, the amount. Is really is greater mm. because a macchiato in Italy is really a short cut. Yes, it's that's short. how we make it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's how we make it. Yeah, but sometimes people want the Starbucks macchiato and it's something different. So. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sergio, people, do you work for BlackBerry phone, smartphone? Yes, I do. The best. Yeah, so, so the are world. you re are you reading in the verbling chat? People have questions. <laughs> no, no. Uh, let me see. Yeah, is are you saying that the BlackBerry is better than the iPhone? Yes, definitely. <laughs> After the <laughs> the Z10, it is. Huh? Not the, the the before, but the previous, but. After Z10 and Q10, yeah, of course it is. All right, well let's ah, let's take I, I, a I want to explain. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. No, just to explain, like, uh, well, I'm, such is a crazy man. No, okay, I am. I, I'm so really organized. Organized. You're organized. Uh, my plan. Okay, you have a plan. Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I am a, a territorial manager, sales manager. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm responsible for oh man, two regions in Brazil, but wow. yeah. I not I not uh, plan my vacation. My vacation is so for for free, for free. I I understand. You're you're very organized and detail oriented in your work life, and so for your vacation, you want to have a different vibe, different yeah. like spontaneous and. Free and yeah, totally. I get it. Okay, so we're gonna take a survey now. Asia, what do you think is the best smartphone? I think right now, to be really realistic, it's uh, Samsung. Really? Why? Yeah. Because the, oh. the, the Galaxy. Four, yeah, the the last one, the Galaxy Four, is really the best. You have you can do a lot of things. 
if you are if you are eating and your phone rings, you don't you don't need to pick your pick up your phone to answer. You just have to to move your hand. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, and and uh, you will answer. It's it's really the best right now, in my opinion. Yeah, sure. But maybe when the the Apple will make the iPhone six, maybe. Yeah. That will the better. I have the iPhone five, but uh, when I look the Samsung, I think it's really the best. Mm. Would you uh, consider switching to the Samsung? I'm thinking about. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> who who is your carrier? Who do you have for your uh, carrier for the phone service? Uh, I have Fido. Fido. It's a uh, Rogers in Canada. Oh, okay, for Canada. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that one. Okay, all right. So we, ha you have an iPhone, but you're voting for the Samsung. Okay, yeah. Beatri Beatrice, what about you? <laughs> I'm not sure what is the the best. But I have one of the Sony. Okay. Um, and that's right, but I don't know what is the best. Yeah. I, it, I, I think Sergio uh, should explain all of us about the smartphones. <laughs> he should maybe, give us a, an yeah, education. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe we could change the the mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hamid, how about you? Do you have an opinion about the smartphones? Yes, uh, in my opinion, uh, there are some uh, good uh, good features uh, for between iPhone and Samsung. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I am using uh, iPhone 4, mm -hmm. so uh, my selection is iPhone. Uh, but Samsung, is it uh, iPhone 5? No, 4. iPhone 4. Hmm. Same with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, but now I want to know about the the Samsung. That sounds pretty good. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, the working system is uh, better in Samsung. Mm. Uh, but internet quality is uh, better in uh, iPhone. Oh, okay. So um, if we know uh, more detail information, yeah, uh, we can uh, describe, we can uh, compare uh, these uh, smartphones. Right. Yeah. It, so I, I'm I, not good at uh, in technical d uh, details. Uh, <laughs> I think sometimes it depends on what you want to use it for. So some people, for example, if you already have like a Mac computer, then you probably want to use an iPhone because the operating system will be able to go, you know, back and forth yes. with your computers easily. What do you think, uh, Marina? Do you have an opinion? <laughs> um, well, I have a Samsung, but it's getting fixed now, so I don't think that is a good option. Uh oh. Um, what yeah. It it was crazy. I mean, I had some songs on on the phone, and yeah. I pressed the the music um, app, mm -hmm. and I couldn't see anything, or I couldn't receive some calls, and oh. well, it was crazy. Yeah. But I think that the last Samsung phones are very good. Mm. Mine, I was having trouble, but. Yeah. It, it wasn't that good, like the last Did, one. It wasn't the Galaxy model? Or? Yes, it was Galaxy, but Galaxy Ace. So oh, it okay. was like one of the first ones that I started with. Oh, okay. And uh, it's can, not very, very good, but... Can you upgrade? Upgrade? Yeah, get, like, Sorry? when you upgrade, it, you get the newest version. For example, uh, like having the the same phone. No, the get like get the get the new phone. Can you? So sometimes when you get your phone, you get like I have the iPhone four, and when my contract is up, like my two year contract, then I can upgrade to the newest phone. I think for free. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, something like that. Or else, yeah, you well, my contract is. Yeah, when my contract is ended, I can choose a, a different phone. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a Samsung. I right. can choose 
whatever I want to because they want me to stay with the company and sure. so they yeah. offer you lots of things. Yeah. Are you going to take your phone to Italy? Yes, I hope <laughs> that it is fixed by that time. <laughs> yeah, well, it should be. <laughs> I, need, I need to call home and everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Marta, how about you? Do you have an opinion about the smartphones? Uh, yes. Personally, what? I use Apple, okay. but it was not my choice. Hmm. Uh, well, my boyfriend uses both um, BlackBerry and Samsung. Mm -hmm. And I think that latest version of Samsung is really great. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in love <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with that with that cell phone. Yeah, smartphone it, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Um, yeah, like Asia was saying, or uh, what the the new iPhone? It must. They must be wanting to do the same technology if that's a big selling point for uh, the Samsung. The the thing you guys said about the motion, the hands free probably or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. Also, uh, I uh, I don't have a Mac, so having oh. <laughs> yeah, so it will be more practical. Mm -hmm. Something else. Than okay. Yeah. Okay. Before we hear from Sergio, we're gonna hear from Tan. Tan, what? You think, what do you go for? S S four? You said it's winning. You agree? Uh, I can't hear you, Tan. Your microphone's going in and out. Can you say it again? Sorry. Uh, uh, I, I can I repeat again, please, Lisa. Yeah, Tan. Tan, your microphone. Uh, was cutting out. Can you say it again, Tan? Can you hear me now? Yes, that's good. Okay. I'm using Samsung and my brother is using iPhone 4. Yeah. And <laughs> sometimes I borrow his iPhone. It just bugs me. It's too small. Yeah. First of all. It bugs you. <laughs> and there's not yeah. a lot of uh, Future, like stuff on the iPhone. Oh, like what? Like um, <laughs> like applications that you want, or or the new technology like you mentioned about the hand yeah. motion that and kind of stuff okay. this also has like two windows at the same time you can do, you can the web at the same time you know oh right like yeah two yeah. window yeah oh, okay yeah and i haven't seen it but i'm going to look at the youtube video that Aisha just posted but um is it, it you're, it's bigger than the iPhone? So like the iPhone is kind of small; it's in your hand, you know. But yeah. are you saying that the Samsung is it like a little bit bigger? Is that yeah. what it is? Oh, okay. So I wonder if it's like the mini iPad or something, or some size in between. Uh, a little bit small. A little small. Okay. Okay, Sergio, you have two two minutes to convince us <laughs> about the BlackBerry. What is that, no, Steve Jobs? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I I I work for BlackBerry, but I need to uh, learn with yes. the best, and I consider the of course the this man is a uh, one of the best. Okay, uh, I wanna say uh, two things. First, um, I I've heard uh, a lot of you talking about yeah, Samsung and iPhone. Uh, okay. And the second thing I want to say is I am for hiring people to black, for BlackBerry and uh, I will consider in my in interview this explanation for everyone of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, is there a joke? Uh, no, of course, of course, I'm a, I'm a manager now. Uh, <laughs> of course, the the iPhone, the Samsung, uh, is in a great, great moment. You know, yeah. Um, uh, uh, we 
we need uh, become we need uh, rebuild uh, our devices to mm. um, not uh, close but trying to close the Samsung and the Apple you know and yeah. uh, of course I I think in the right moment the family the Z10 and Q10 family is much funny new family mm -hmm. uh, Blackberries, it is, and after um, f uh, just uh, uh, for you uh, 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 think, uh, in the Canada, of course, is not our uh, our country, but in in the UK, uh, England, yeah, England, and uh, the Asia. Yeah. And the north of uh, Amer uh, no north, uh, south of America, uh, the BlackBerry uh, is beaten, beaten, uh, beaten the yeah. sales beaten. This this the iPhone five and the oh. Galaxy four mm -hmm. sales. Wow. We are back the game. <laughs> you're back. You're game. back in the game. Blackberry is in back the game. in the game. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, you heard it directly from Brazil, <laughs> from Sergio. <laughs> Blackberry is back in the game, so watch out. All yeah. right. Okay, so that's good to know because I don't know very much about all the different – because I'm a Mac person, so I just usually stick with Apple. But maybe I need to venture out and expand my uh, point of view. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's interesting because it's it's difficult to convince the consumer to switch. So if the BlackBerry is convincing people to switch to their product, then that's good marketing. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, we're done. Yeah. We finished our class. We've been talking for an hour. I want to thank everybody for joining us. You guys are really fun to talk to, and we could keep going, but. Uh, there's more classes coming up, so if you guys want to keep uh, practicing your English, you can find another Verbling class. I'm going to have another class, uh, reading class, at 8 p.m. my time, so that's in about seven hours. So some of you might be asleep, <laughs> but if you're not, you can come and join me. Thanks okay. for everybody. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, Beatrice. Bye, Hamid. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you, Tan. Adios. Adios. Hasta luego. Ha, ha, ha.